There's nothing more disappointing at the end of the RV season when it's time to store your rig for winter, go back to your home, and wait for the first signs of spring so that you can hit the road again. But what if you didn't have to wait? What if you could keep on trucking long into the off season with a Class C RV that was winter and cold ready? It's not only possible, but it's also a lot of fun. There are a ton of benefits of off-season RVing, including cheaper prices, fewer crowds, and a unique winter perspective on the beautiful landscape. Not every rig is winter ready though, so I'm going to go through the best Class C RVs for cold weather to keep you safe and warm whilst you're out making memories in your rig. The Jayco brand is well known in the off-season RV community and the Red Hawk 26 XD is a big favorite of mine being built on a powerful and reliable Ford chassis. Life on the road in winter can be tough, and I find if I don't prepare for cold temperatures, RV life can be pretty hard. Therefore, the 12-volt heating pads on the holding tanks of this rig are invaluable to me, as they help prevent any liquids from freezing, saving me the panic of only having frozen water on board. I also love the options for floor plans and the queen size bed as it means Jayco can let the RVer put their own spin and style on this rig, creating a space that's appealing and functional. While there are plenty of rigs that feature king size beds, the queen is usually plenty for most and leaves room for extra creature comforts like a 32 inch television, my ideal setup. The insulation is solid, especially on the roof, which is a great help for travelers like me who feel the cold. If I were to head into the deep country, however, I'd consider adding some aftermarket insulation to ensure I'd be snug and warm even if snowflakes were to start falling from the sky. This Jayco Redhawk does come equipped with a lot of what I've need for longer off-season runs, like an auto-igniting furnace coming in at 31,000 BTU and a larger water heater. A standout feature for me is the unique roof construction, the Magnum Truss Roof System. This roofing system is durable and sturdy thanks to Jayco using screws, large studs, and wider nail plates in their plywood instead of a simple staple often used by other RV manufacturers. The Jayco Redhawk comes in at a length of 28.67 feet and is a somewhat modest height of 11.5 feet. The Forest River LE is built on a Ford chassis and offers an Arctic package for those who want to take things to the next level. Even the standard features of the Forest River LE are great for getting RVers ready for colder temperatures. I find the use of the fiberglass substrate instead of the more commonly used plywood is a huge benefit as fiberglass resists water, helping avoid issues like leaks and mold growth. Plywood can absorb and hold water, so the use of fiberglass is beneficial in winter when weather can become both wet and cold. The fiberglass makes the RV less likely to bubble over and damage the laminate, too. Plus, this RV was designed with everything you need inside and out. This RV is complete with a functional kitchen, sleeping accommodations for the whole family, and outdoor entertaining like light on the awning and outdoor speakers. But even more important for folks wanting to stay toasty is that the fiberglass has a much higher R value than plywood, which basically means it's a better insulator. Plus, a fiberglass roof is easier to maintain and safer to walk on. While I try not to make it a habit of walking around on top of my RV, I do like to have the option. I also like the thought that was put into the front cap. It has a wraparound design that's intended to provide better wind resistance, which, while always a good thing, is even more important to keep you warm during the winter. This rig also has a bit of extra insulation in the front cap, which helps keep the rig warm on the road. The Forest River LE comes in at a length of 23.83 feet and a height of 11.25 feet, with a maximum sleeping count of 6. It might be a bit too cozy for some if you try to sleep six individuals on board, so I think this Forest River RV is probably best for smaller groups looking to head out for a longer amount of time. The Forest River Sunseeker is built on the dependable Ford chassis, and I couldn't help but include another Forest River rig on this winter-ready list. I've taken a look at the Arctic package, sometimes called the Four Seasons Upgrade, for this review. The Arctic package upgrade includes double-paned windows, which add an additional layer of insulation ideal for people like me who feel the cold a lot during winter. 
Another feature that stands out to me is the heated mirrors. Having an excellent mirror setup is a critical part of driving any larger vehicle and a Class C RV is no different. With heated mirrors, I don't have to worry about the winter snow fogging up or icing my mirrors and leaving me blind on the road. Like the other Forest River rig on this list, you're also getting a fiberglass substrate instead of traditional plywood. This also has a basic interior with all the amenities you need while on the road like a functional kitchen, dry bath, and comfortable sleeping arrangements. The Sunseeker comes in at 27 feet 1 inches, which is a bit longer than the other Forest River model that made it onto our list, and something worth considering if you don't have a large space to store an RV. Jayco also made this list twice, and that's because there's a lot I love about them. The Jayco Greyhawk Prestige Edition is another class CRV for cold winter weather, and it features an absolutely huge living space and a 29-foot package. The quality residential-grade fixtures and huge fridge make this rig feel like a house and create a space that I want to relax in, even when it's sub-zero outside. Like most RVers, I tend to spend more time inside during the winter when compared to summer, so I want to be in a space that can support my needs. This luxury Greyhawk absolutely does that. Just like the Red Hawk, number one on our list, the Greyhawk over the cabin bunk can hold up to 750 pounds of weight, giving me plenty of options even for the longest trip. The Jayco quality roof with the Magnum Truss roof system is a game changer in my eyes as it has the ability to hold a considerable amount of snow without a problem. The extra strong roof means I don't have to panic and feel stressed if there's a flurry of snow. Instead, I can watch the magical scenes take place and know I'm safe, secure, and warm in my RV. Honestly, I haven't seen a Jayco rig that I haven't liked, and this is another great Class C option for the winter, but it does come in more expensive than other similar RVs. So, it's an investment worth giving a lot of thought. The Mini Winnie is a solid rig regardless of weather conditions, but a standout feature for me is the 20,000 BTU furnace available in certain models that promises to keep me toasty warm even when it's cold and snowy outside. As I don't have a big family, I don't mind if a Class C RV is on the smaller side like this one. Measuring 24 feet and 5 inches in length, however, may not be ideal for large families or big travel groups as not everyone will be able to fit comfortably inside. Features such as traction control and defrosting mirrors make the Mini Winnie an ideal rig even in a wintry climate, so you can have an epic adventure in the snow. Having advanced features is a huge benefit, but I also think that the interior is worth mentioning. With several different available floor plans ranging from sleeping 5 to 8 people, I can configure the Mini Winnie layout that suits me best, making the most of the space inside. Traveling in an RV through winter usually sees me keeping stocked up on supplies and remaining powered up in case I get stuck in the snow for a few days. The Mini Winnie has a powerful electric system with a second coach battery and a 1000 watt inverter so no more worrying about not being able to charge cell phones or important gear on the road. This is a lifesaver for RVers like me who work and travel when they're on the road. Dynamax is the perfect blend of modern luxury with functionality, and the Isada 5 is no exception with 10,000 pounds towing capacity, a number of floor plans, and a 42,000 BTU furnace for those cold winter nights. I believe an RV having style and personality is just as important as its function, especially when living full-time on the road. I like the fact that this Dynamax Isada 5 has an abundance of features to offer while remaining sleek, stylish, and easy on the eye. RVing during the winter can be beautiful and tough at the same time, but the heated holding tanks with this rig make things a whole lot easier. A few winters ago when I was traveling in a camper, temperatures dropped below zero and our water lines froze. I got completely caught out, and it's something I would recommend every RVer try to avoid. To make sure the biting cold doesn't affect vision during journeys, the Isada 5 has heated exterior mirrors. This brings me great peace of mind as driving an RV can be tricky and I don't need anything else to make it even harder. I sometimes find it hard to avoid icy roads when traveling in my RV during the winter, 
but the four-wheel ABS on the ISADA 5 is a fantastic addition to help increase safety when roads become treacherous. The system helps the tires on the rig get traction, a very useful addition when black ice could catch you out. With a winter-ready Class C RV, the fun never has to stop. While you can take your rig in colder weather, it's still a good idea to avoid areas like Canada during the winter. Instead, check out places like Colorado that have both snow, but also plenty of sun that helps clear out the roads. Our best Class C RVs for winter are well worth a close look if you're considering purchasing a rig you want to be able to use no matter the weather. Let me know what you think of my picks and whether or not you'll be hitting the road this winter.